Okay, so today we're going to talk about uh, government funding to the airlines. So in the, in the last uh, in the last airline video I did, I talked about how COVID-19 has stopped large parts of the air travel, pushing airline stocks down over 50%. I recommended people look into investing into the airline stocks, given how undervalued they are. The government and the airlines have now agreed on funding terms. So let me update everybody on what those terms are of the airline stock that I've picked. So the first one is American Airlines, ticker symbol AAL. American Airlines will receive $5.8 billion from the government, $4.1 billion as a grant, and $1.7 billion as a low interest loan. They will also apply they will also apply for a four point five seven seven billion loan from the Treasury under a separate program. On February twenty fourth this year the stock traded at $25.45 as of April 24th. The stock traded at $10.31. I believe the stock will rise back between $15 and $20. Delta Airlines, DAL, will receive $5.4 billion plus a $1.6 billion 10-year low-interest loan. The government will also receive warrants. So let me explain what a warrant is. A warrant is a type of certificate that w that can be converted into equity. It gives the owner of the warrant the option to buy stocks at a certain price. So basically, what companies do is they issue out these warrants, and it allows a person to pick a stock price. For example, say, I'm going to give you this warrant to exercise at this stock price for $10 a share. So if the stock price is trading at $20, the warrant will be exercised at the warrant will be exercised at ten dollars, so the person that owned the warrant will already be up ten bucks in in value. So that's pretty much what warrants are. It's kind of like so, a coupon. Kind of like a coupon. Kind of like a coupon. Okay. So Delta, so Delta agreed to give the government warrants to buy about one percent of its stock at twenty four dollars and thirty nine cents a share over five years. On February twenty fourth this year. The stock traded at $54.23. As of April 25th, the stock traded at $24.49. I believe the stock will rise back between $40 and $45 a share. Southwest Airlines, ticker symbol LUV, will receive $3.2 billion and a $1 billion in unsecured 10-year low-interest loan. The government will also receive 2.6 million warrants that will be converted at a fixed price. On February 24th this year, the stock traded at $54.11. As of April 25th, the stock traded at $29.33. I believe the stock will rise between $40 and $45 a share. United Airlines, UAL, will receive $4.5 billion and will have until September 20th this year to draw the full amount. If they draw the full amount, government will receive warrants to buy 14.2 million shares at $31.50 a share. United has also asked for $5 billion under a program called the Payroll Support Program. On February 24th this year, the stock traded at $75.47. As of April 25th, the stock traded at $29.30. I believe the stock will rise between $50 and $60. Bucks. And for my last pick, JetBlue, ticker symbol JBLU, will receive $685 million as a grant and $251 million as a low-interest loan. On February 24th, the stock traded at $19.38. As of April 25th, the stock traded at $7.95. I believe the stock will rise back between $10 to $15. So let me give you guys a little history to make the case for these airline stocks because I believe history has just repeated itself and many people have not caught that. So check this out. So during the financial crisis of 2008, the government approved the $700 billion Trouble Asset Relief Program known as TARP. TARP is similar to the $2 trillion Coronavirus Aid Relief Economic Securities Act program known as the CARES Act. 
The TARP program allocated $250 billion to the banks and financial institutions and $68 billion to AIG, the insurance giant. The government also took warrants in the financial institutions and placed mortgage giants Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae into a government conservatorship under which they remain today. Like TARP, the CARES Act has allocated $32 billion in grants and $29 billion in loans to the airlines. The government has also taken warrants in the airlines just like it did the banks. So now before the financial crisis, the financial stocks were at or nearing record highs. On January 2, 2007, AIG, Bank of America, Citigroup, or Citibank, as many of you all, as many of you guys know it as, JP Morgan Chase, Freddie Mac, and Fannie Mae stocks were all trading above $50 a share. Just like before COVID-19, many of the big airlines were trading above $50 a share just two months ago. Then the financial crisis hit. On July 16, 2008, Freddie Mac fell to $0.39 cents a share. On February 26, 2009, AIG fell to $0.46 cents a share, and Fannie Mae fell to $0.50 cents a share. On March 5, 2009, Bank of America fell to $3.17, and Citibank fell to $0.97. Cent. On March 6, 2009, J.P. Morgan Chase fell to $15.90. The government allocated TARP funds until the government then allocated the TARP funds until the financial institutions could grow revenues and become profitable. Over the last 10 years, financial stocks have risen hundreds of percent from their 2008-2009 low, uh, 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 lows. On February 24th this year, AIG was trading at $45.70, Bank of America $32.37, Citibank, $72.53, and J.P. Morgan Chase, $132.16. Obviously, the stocks have since fallen with the markets due to the corona, uh, 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 to, due to the spread of the coronavirus, but the government has earned billions of dollars off the financial stocks. So the last question I had, to, I had to really ask myself when I was doing my research was, why would the government buy stakes in crisis mode publicly traded companies? But instead of purchasing bonds, which are more secure in the bankruptcy filing, they took warrants. And so what I mean by that, typically, when when large investors go in to give companies money, they typically buy bonds. And bonds are, are usually the most secure investment of all equity, because typically whenever a company files bankruptcy, bondholders are the first people to get paid. Whether they get all their money or not, they're the first to receive uh, 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 capital in the filing. So uh, instead of the government taking bonds, they decided to take warrants. So the warrants convert into stocks, which are oftentimes become worthless in the bankruptcy filing. So usually when the company file bankrupt, the stocks, the stocks become worthless. The only reason the government would do this, I believe, is because the government knows that the airline stocks are going to rise and they're undervalued right now. And they know they're going to be able to sell the airline stocks like they did the financial stocks, and they're going to make a whole bunch of money. So as far as I'm concerned, through my research, history has just repeated itself, and the very thing that the government did back in 2008, 2009 with the financial institutions, they're doing right now with the airline stocks, which basically means that these are some of the safest investments on the planet in my opinion. So people should really look heavily at the airline stocks. These are the, one, these are the picks that I picked, and uh, 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 I think it will be a lot of growth dealing with these stocks over the long term. Some of them can possibly be traded over the short term, but I think the long term there will be a lot of growth with these stocks. So I hope this information was helpful for everybody. All right. Thanks, Wall Street, for the information. Um, Remember, everyone, to like, comment, and share on Wall Street's channel. And, um, yeah, anything else you want to say to people before we say goodbye? Uh, so I just want to tell people that uh, uh, if you got any questions or any comments, uh, you can go to my Instagram page at Curtis Wall Street Carroll, two R's and two L's, or you can, uh, you can uh, visit my YouTube channel with the same name, and view some of the videos and share it and tell your friends about it. All right, y'all. Peace. This is your boy, Wall Street.